Bismillah hi Rahman Rahim. Today's my lecture is about zone of pulmonary circulation. Normally, in standing position, blood pressure in lower extremity of the body is very high, and in upper part above the level of heart, pressure is low because of the effect of gravitational force. A similar condition is observed in some extent in lungs. Pulmonary vascular pressure varies in different parts of lungs. The capillaries in alveolar wall are distended by blood pressure inside them, but simultaneously are compressed by alveolar air pressure on their outsides. Under different normal physiological and pathological lung conditions, one may find any one of three possible zones. These are zone 1, zone 2 and zone 3. It is the effect of hydrostatic pressure gradient on regional pulmonary blood flow. At first, zone 1, which is apical portion, there is no blood flow. Why? Normally, in apical portion of lungs, pulmonary capillary pressure is almost same as alveolar pressure. So, pulmonary arterial pressure is just sufficient for flow of blood into alveolar capillaries. However, if pulmonary arterial pressure decreases or if alveolar pressure increases, capillaries are collapsed. This prevents flow of blood to the alveoli. So, this zone of lung is also called area of zero blood flow. Local capillary pressure in this area never rises higher than the alveolar air pressure during any part of cardiac cycle. So, there is no blood flow occur. More negative interpural pressure increases the size of the alveoli and decreases the arterial pressure due to gravity, which decreases the diameter of the vessels. Under this condition, there is no gases exchange in this zone of lung. So, it is considered as a part of physiological dead space, which means it is ventilated but not perfused and the ventilation perfusion ratio is also increased about the ventilation perfusion ratio i will discuss the next classes it may leads to growth of bacteria particularly tubercle bacilli making this part of lung susceptible for tuberculosis then zone 2 which is mid portion there intermittent blood flow occur in mid portion of lung the pressure in alveoli is less than the pulmonary systolic pressure and more than the pulmonary diastolic pressure because of this blood flow to alveoli increases during systole and decreases during diastole so this zone of lung is called area of intermittent blood flow here arterial pressure more than the alveolar and venous pressure alveolar pressure is more than the venule pressure so venules are collapsed here ventilation perfusion ratio is normal then zone 3 higher continuous blood flow occur in lower portion of lungs pulmonary arterial pressure is high and it is more than the alveolar pressure both during systole and diastole so blood flow occur continuously due to gravity increases pressure vasodilation occur and more blood flow occur here ventilation perfusion ratio decreases because increased blood flow in this figure zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 here we discuss about pa pa means arterial pressure small letter a means alveolar pressure and v means venous pressure Previously, I used the term perfusion. What do you mean by perfusion? The movement of blood into lungs through pulmonary capillaries. This is called perfusion. Zone 1, perfusion is absent. Zone 2, perfusion is sporadic. And zone 3, perfusion is constant. Thank you for your patience hearing.